everyone. Welcome to another What Is It Wednesday video. Today I'm going to talk a little bit about wet adhesives and I'm just going to quickly show you three of my favorites and talk about them just a little bit. There's a lot of wet adhesives out there and maybe you have one that's your favorite already picked out and that is wonderful. I just thought I would share. Mostly I want to do this video because you might have seen me using this one, this Nuvo Deluxe Adhesive in videos uh, more and more lately and not so much this one. And I have to be honest, I love my Tombow Mono Multi-Glue, but I love this Nuvo almost more. And shh, don't tell anybody I said that. <laughs> I love this stuff. I've been using this for years and years and I will still use it. It does really good. One thing about it though, is if I get this on my fingers or anything, you know, sometimes little glue might ooze out and you wipe it away, or at least I do with my finger, it will make my finger sticky. It's, it's meant to be sticky once it dries, which is, which is a benefit to it. You know, if you have something that you just want to remain tacky for a little while, then this can be an absolute great benefit. But you know, it is kind of annoying if you're working with a lot of things and you need to um, you just want to get going and you have to stop every minute and wipe your hands. Literally, the only thing I've figured out is either wet wipes or something like that. I can't just like rub it off like some glues. So then I got this Lawn Fawn and you can see it's obviously well loved. Look at the packaging there. <laughs> I love this one because for those small little teeny tiny things, this works great. I have a little piece of white or black cardstock right here. I guess I could get out. So I'm just going to show you really quick. The Tombow glue, I've never had problems with it clogging. So that's a big thing for me. Um, I will never, ever, ever buy those thin little things you have to try to find, point, get the needle in. Those are great if they work for you, but trying to get that needle in would drive me extremely insane. And that's just not for me. So. The Tombow glue is good, but it definitely, you know, it comes out fast and I barely squeezed that one. Plus this is kind of a newer bottle, so that might make a little difference. But it, this one's really never clogged on me. Sometimes there will be a little bit of dry glue on the edge, which you might've seen me just rubbing my fingers a moment ago. That's what I mean is it gets, I took it off with my finger and now my finger's kind of sticky. So then you have the Lawn Fawn glue and it, you do have to squeeze a little harder this one's been not upside down, so this is probably not, but you can see that you don't get a lot of glue, but you can get, the more harder you squeeze, that's one thing, I like this glue because it holds really well, but for those teeny tiny die cut pieces, if that's all the more glue you want along them, you know, sometimes that's exactly what you might want. So then I tried, I wanted to try this because, well, my friend got one and she loved it, and I've seen a lot of people using it. So I thought I would go ahead and give it a try. Again, Lawn Fawn glue, I think maybe clogged just a teeny bit one time and all the times I've been using it. So that that's pretty good right there. That again, I don't need that fine line bottle because of that. This one, I've never had it clog on me. It is newer, but this one, although it's thicker, you can control it a little more. So if you just want like tiny drops and dips, you don't, it, so it does come out with more than the Lawn Fawn glue tube, which is why I like the Lawn Fawn glue for those teeny tiny pieces. But this one never clogged on me. Um, the bottle's cute and pretty, but that doesn't really matter to me much. But look at the difference. I wonder if you can see the difference between the thickness of the Tombow and the thickness of the Nuvo. And I mean, I'm barely squeezing with both of those. And these are all pretty full. This one might not be as full. And you can see the Lawn Fun's already starting to dry. Uh, can you see that a little bit? Probably, because it's, they all dry clear. I haven't had any problems with any, you know, showing up on a layout after I've done it. Um, but I don't really go back and look for that either. But you can get a fairly small amount if, once you kind of get the hang of how much to squeeze, if that makes sense. So I just kind of wanted to share these with you just to give my opinion on them. They're all great glues. This one I think would be really, is really good if you have a, like a larger area and need to fill in more. Definitely, again, the Lawn Fawn glue for the tiny little pieces and you can see how fast it dries. So it's doing pretty good, but also it wasn't, you know, only little bits came out. So it wasn't as much as the other ones. And then this one, 
probably I have to say is my absolute new favorite glue. I hardly even pull out the Lawn Fun glue because you can just do tiny little dots with this one as well. So if you guys have any more questions about any of these, please let me know below and I'm happy to share, answer as much as I can. And other than that, I will see you next What Is It Wednesday. If you have anything you'd like me to share in a video for our Wednesday What Is It Wednesdays, let me know and I'd be happy to do that. All right, I'll see you guys next time. Bye.